week when we're focusing on denying two people, so that takes out two helpers or two people that can rotate extra after if someone does help. So, um, you know, it kind of depends on the team we're playing. And, um, today, we really needed to figure out how to get that extra third help person because it seemed like we'd always be there for the drive, but then when they dumped it down, it would um, they'd get a layup. So just figuring out how to, you know, how to work that out, and, um, you know, we'll watch film on that and see it. Thank you. Talk about your two senior leaders. It seemed like when you guys really needed a play today, Kia would make a, a three or she'd make a nice defensive stop or Gabby was out there doing everything. How important were the seniors today? Super important. I think, you know, they really led us today and um, we feed off of their energy and where as we kind of go as far as they go. And I'm um, not saying that they can't have bad games because we'll clearly um, pick it up from them if we need to, but uh, when they're playing like that and when they're all in and focused, it's easy to just follow along. So. What is it that they provide other than that focus or energy? Um, I mean, the things they do are still some of the best in the country, I think. The way Gabby plays is unbelievable, and, you know, Kia's one of the best shooters in the country so um, just being able to rely on them like that and um, have that confidence in them as basketball players is huge for us. How important is it coach said that this time of year you can't always play the way you want to you just mm -hmm. have to figure things out Are you pretty happy with the way this team is figuring things out and grinding out wins? Yeah definitely um, there's always going to be different ways that people play us and um, it seems like the past two games they've tried to you know, contain our um, transition and contain us um, from driving and stuff. And clearly we like to move around a lot and um, we love playing against man. So um, knowing that we can kind of play against zone and that we have the ability to defensively stop people is really giving us confidence in moving forward so that we know that we're ready for anything teams bring at us, whether they want to try to play fast with us or if they want to try to hold it back. So from that perspective, is the team playing really well right now? I mean, people look at the scores and say, oh, you know, they aren't scoring as much, not as big a margin of victory, but it seems like you're doing the right thing. Yeah, I mean, um, we're just trying to win every game, and um, that's what March is about. I think, you know, during the regular season, we would be able to um, really pick out more nitty-gritty things, but right now what people give us is what we have to take, and we have to play off of it. And um, like I said, I don't think we necessarily shot as well as we could have today, but we still got the shots we wanted. And um, I'm sure if we had knocked down shots, it would have been even well, high, more high scoring than it was today. Azure looked like she was affected a little bit today, but mm -hmm. she still went out there and battled and rebounded for you guys. Overall, I mean, you think she, she did what she needed to? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, clearly, you know, she wants to go out there and dominate in this type of a game, but um, for us, we just need her to um, come out there, bang with bigs, get some rebounds, and um, take over if we need her to. Today, we necessarily didn't need her to step up and be that, that presence to score every single time, and um, I think they did a pretty good job on us in the lane, and we all, all of us kind of had trouble finishing, so... Um, you know, that's credit to Duke and everything, but Z did what she needed to do for us to get the win. Are you feeling pretty good about your own, your own patience? It seems like you're picking your spots and, and still coming up with 15 points a game mm -hmm. and, and doing the things when you need to. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, games like this, it slows um, down the pace a little bit, and you can see that. Um, you know, I might not be uh, running around as much as I normally do, but that's part of the game, and that's why... Um, we can figure things out no matter what because, you know, we can distribute to other people. We can get shots for everyone else. And um, no matter what I'm given during a game, I'm going to um, take what I get and keep playing. I don't necessarily feel like I have to score in order to contribute to the team anymore. You talked about the 7-0 start. You guys got off to force them into a timeout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really good off the bat, you know. Um, we're ready to go. And, um, you know, March is that time of year where um, Coach always says UConn kind of sets yourself apart. And... Um, we wanted to make sure that we had that great start, and um, I think we're just excited every game we get to play. And then the 8-0 run to close the half, and then with the bear hug you had on uh, yeah. Gabby. <laughs> yeah, I think that was really a momentum shift for us and just kind of um, enthusiasm going into halftime that we felt like we were in control of the game and that, you know, if we just kept our heads on straight for the rest of the game, we were going to be able to move on.